Hello and welcome back to A Real Horror Show, the YouTube channel dedicated to all things horror. And after a long, long time, we are finally back and I have got something very, very special for you today. Now of course you've already seen the title of this video so you know exactly what thing is inside this big box here um, and honestly I feel like a kid on Christmas stood in front of this um, of course I don't think any kids would want what's inside this box for Christmas but I was a pretty fucked up kid so there we go uh, now 2020 holds a very important anniversary because um, it's been 40 years since John Carpenter released his classic movie The Thing oh my god look at that <laughs> <laughs> that is just wow something else um god i'm lost for words on that i mean that's just incredible um and if you haven't seen the film by the way what what the hell are you doing go and see the thing it's been out for 40 years don't live under a rock made by our lord and savior john carpenter go watch the thing it's an absolute it's one of the greatest horror films ever made an absolute special effects bonanza um, thanks to the great special effects artist Rob Bottin who of course created all the monsters in the film including Norris here let me just try and get him out oh my god I mean wow I mean check this guy out like that is epic that is incredible Oh my god. The quality oh. is insane. It literally looks just like the prop from the movie. Oh, look how creepy this is. See, I've, I've always wanted this guy for my collection. I've always wanted him. Um, a prop replica of Norris. I've seen a few of my friends own this guy. And I've always wanted to hunt one down. I finally tracked one down on eBay and I got hold of him. And I just... I lost for words. This is just going to bring a whole new level to the horror collection um this is absolutely incredible um i mean i don't i don't even know what to say about it i'm just blown away i think the next hey, question is that. how is that oh wow look at <laughs> oh it's so that gnarly some detail like with the spider legs coming out of the ears by the way i'm, I'm actually fucking terrified of spiders That detail's great. But yeah, I'm, I, I'm actually terrified of spiders, so maybe it wasn't the wisest of purchases, but I love Norris, <laughs> and I love the thing, and Carpenter, and I mean, that's just sick. That is absolutely sick. Look at that. And of course, if you haven't seen the film, which I don't know why you haven't seen the thing, but there is a scene where this guy, Norris, a, uh, a crew member um, of the Arctic research team, is having a heart attack. And one of the other members of the team uses a defibrillator on him to try and revive him. And Norris's chest opens to a gaping mouth with a, and, and bites off the guy's arms. And then after that, a huge alien comes out of it and Kurt Russell sets it on fire. Look, it sounds really over the top, right? But that's the film. And Best. I cannot do it justice. Best special effects film ever made in my opinion. Without a doubt, that is a fact. It's, it is a testament, again, I've said it all the time, but this and that film is a testament to how incredible uh, physical special effects were. Practical effects cannot be beaten, and Rob Bottin's work on the, on the thing is just the greatest of all time. I think the next challenge now is to see if 
it actually stands on the table. Let's give it a go. Okay, so I've just managed to get Norris in place on the table, out of the box and set up and he looks just fucking incredible. To say the least, he looks amazing. Um, took a bit of effort getting him on this small table. I didn't quite plan that as good. Hang on, that's not a table. Well, at least explain what it is. It's a bit of cardboard on a piano stand. <laughs> but, you know, it works. I put some spooky... Uh, Halloween tablecloth on it, so you know. No expense spared. Looks, no expense spared. But he looks amazing, and um, the thing is, his leg span is so huge. The thing is, not for me too. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is so huge that it was really difficult to get him on this table, but just about balanced it. Um, we will put some pictures and videos on of him, like in my collection and stuff, at the end of the video. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is Norris. Is this the biggest figure in your collection? I mean, it's got to be. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, was. I wasn't quite prepared for how big this guy is. <laughs> well, let's, I'm actually shocked. Let's talk a bit about it. Like, how, how have you ended up in possession of this item? So, I was just browsing eBay one one sunny afternoon, as we do, and then it came across recommended. Um, the thing prop replica Norris spider head as as it does on eBay you know these things just appear out of the blue a very normal item uh, and it appeared and I, I watched it on on uh, eBay and the seller actually sent me an offer for it uh, knock knock some money off it here and there and uh, I couldn't refuse it really it's one of those things I wanted it one of those things that I wanted I've wanted in my collection for the longest time. I've really wanted this guy for years and um, I'm really proud to finally have him here. Well, go on then, let's talk about the brass. So, originally, who, pre like, who manufactured these originally? How much were they at retail and what were the offer that you got? Now, this is interesting because I actually don't know who produced this guy. I have no clue and uh, neither did the seller. However, I've seen multiple of these things in, in time, like um on on instagram in the horror community I, a few of my friends actually own this same piece uh but i've got no clue who produced them I've, I've got no no idea at all i even asked the seller who i got it off and they don't know but he just appears on ebay now and again and uh yeah it's a really interesting one if anyone has any information about these things then please put it in the comments and let us know because i'm really really interested in knowing the history of this guy so, um, so what what should the price have been? Do, do you know what the price of these things were new, or do you have no, no idea? No idea, because I'm I i do not know the history of this guy. I have no clue at what he originally sold for, who sold him. Um, I just know they float around, and they tend to be in the like, the two hundreds area up yeah. to three hundred. I got him around two hundred, so I got I got a bit lucky with with this purchase. Um, and I couldn't be happier about that. I'm just glad he's finally home and in, in the collection now. And I mean, the quality so, of it's absolutely amazing. So why don't you tell everyone, like, what, what's it actually made out of? Because it looks, from my perspective, it looks it looks like it's made out of plastic, to be honest. But yeah, it, what is I it? mean, it's pretty amazing. It's actually a really a surprisingly lightweight um, hard foam. Um, I don't know exactly what the term is, but it's, it's, it's some really like stiff foam material that makes up his head. And of course, we've got the real like I don't know what the hair's made out of but it, it looks and feels you know like really real it's, uh, it's a really well done replica super lightweight um, it's amazing how it actually bounces on those legs like, yeah so it, like, does, it looks like it shouldn't be able to do what it's actually doing right yeah now. I'm really surprised at that because like, uh, they look a bit wobbly but they, they, they hold him up just perfectly like it's, it's fantastic and um, the paintwork on it is also another thing that I, I really love not the most 
realistic of paintwork ever, but I mean, it's got the detail all in the right places and uh, pretty much just looks like the prop from the film in my, in my opinion. I mean, uh, it's a really incredible recreation of a truly iconic movie monster. And can you get like the other things like it, the, like the dog, um, for example, is the form versions of them, or is it just this? I it? wish there was. I won't have space for the dog, though. No. <laughs> but I have seen uh, certain artists and other people around recreate other monsters from the thing and um, do fantastic replicas. Maybe not life size. I think this is the only thing that I've really seen that's truly a life size monster from the movie, because I think all the rest of them would be way too huge. Uh, but I mean, this is the one that everyone remembers, though. From that, if you take anything away from the thing, which is a lot, uh, I think this is a, a moment that is truly, truly memorable. Um, it's absolute chaos that scene, um, and it, it's it truly shows how incredible real practical effects are, and uh, I guess it's a testament to that, really. Yeah. And it's just incredible. So. How often do these things pop up on eBay? Like, if someone were to go on and search for it right now, uh, were there any more for sale when you were looking at them? Well, when I bought this guy, I mean, I, I, I don't look too often. It was one of those things that just popped up right place, right time. Um, but at that moment, this was the only guy who was on eBay. Uh, but I have seen them on there before, so I can't really say how often they pop up, but they do. And again, I really don't know who produced these or where they came from. Um, maybe they came from another world, who knows? <laughs> but it's truly incredible, and uh, I'm really glad whoever did produce these did it. And uh, I'm just really happy to have him in the collection now. Okay, guys, just to close out this video today, uh, we just wanted to say a massive thank you to all the support that we've had in the past year because we've been on hiatus. For about a year now but yet we still receive comments likes people asking where where are you when are you coming back and that has been such a drive and a motivation to return to this platform bringing more horror content and i just couldn't be more thankful for that uh but back now here we are uh we're gonna bring some great content to you guys just in time for halloween the spooky season is here and so are we so thank you very much guys uh, please subscribe, comment, share, do all that great stuff and I'll catch you in the next one.